saw them. Do you know where they were? No. Yes, no? If I know what you're doing, I think I've done this at home like 90,000. What's that? I said, I think I've done this at home like 90,000. Yeah, well, maybe you'll have to if I can't find a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's like, Sarah, come here. <laughs> See what electric field, where the electric field is. Okay. You rub it on your hair, and then you hold it up, and the hair will stand up. The hair will align itself to the electric field lines. <laughs> what you're doing is you're actually rubbing a bunch of electrons off of your hair and putting them on the surface of the balloon. That's a way to clean your hair. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Okay, and so now you have a charge. A net negative charge on the balloon and a net positive charge in your hair. And so when you hold it a little distance away, the positive charge left in your hair will be attracted to the negative charges on the balloon and they'll follow the path of the electric field lines. Okay. So I wish I had a balloon to, to demonstrate. Obviously I couldn't do it with my hair. <laughs> So, and a magnetic field is similar, and that one I definitely can show you. That, we have, I, we have everything here. I know we have that. Do we have iron filings still? Yeah, we should have some iron filings, right? Yeah. yeah. Those Where are those? Uh, Miss Binsfield had them. Does Miss Binsfield have them? Joel, do you want to run over? How much time we got? We're almost out of time, but I can leave Five minutes. Mrs. Justin probably has to wait for Mr. Dvorak now, so. Right, right. But anyway, can you run over and see where they happened to those magnets that I had? They're on the side. On the other side. Where? What? They're on the cabinet, on the side of the cabinet. Oh. Ask her for some iron filing. Oh, here, I got something. I got something. We got them. We got them. <laughs> grab, grab Gretchen here, huh? And John and Maria. <laughs> yeah, and John. All right, well, we'll use this. Wow, they here, really here, damaged Joel. that screen. Joel, come here. Hold that. Boat. Oh, I know this. So that it doesn't fall out, so make a little dip. That's more than enough. So you want to see a uh, magnetic field line. Cool. They stand on end. Yep. Yeah, so. Well, they aren't falling off right now. Uh, well, they won't fall off as long as they have the magnet here. But you can see how it lines up. Here, see if we can set it down. Here. Oh. 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 Nope, there's a magnet. Underneath it, right? There we go. That looks like the spike there. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the magnetic field lines. And now you can see how they stretch out on the end. They're almost vertical, but they're not. Wow. <laughs> and similarly on the South Pole, they all trail out and go out and they diverge that way. Hmm. And they like wrap around out here. 
so. got a picture in the book somewhere. Uh oh. <laughs> a few on the end, right? Let's see if we can get it to line up along the, the side ones. Oh, I'm just gonna pull it right in. <laughs> a little harder to get it to line up on the side. Unless you stick in here, but. Yeah. And you have a lot of filings to pick off. <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah, if I stick it, the whole magnet in there, we'll get a nice real shape of what those field lines look like, right? If I stick it in there all the way. Yeah. Or you'll just pull up the whole thing. There. Now you can really get a picture. Looks like a microphone. Yeah. So that's where those... It's magnetized microphones. That's where those electric, those magnetic field lines are. Or the at. hats of the English guards. <laughs> yeah. It's big tall hats. Yeah. It's gonna go on the end. Of course. Yeah, they all wrap around the end. Uh, there you got a demonstration of electric field lines well you can use that is actually energy as a form of energy and it's the other part of the electric wave yeah and so what gives earth its electric its magnetic field earth has a, a magnetic field how is that happening um, is there a giant magnet sometime somewhere buried in the earth i'm gonna guess that because it's spinning this way you're right. You're, you're, on, you're not right, but you're at the beginnings of finding right. The beginnings of finding right. Yes. The reason the Earth has a magnetic field is because it's spinning. <laughs> what about it spinning allows it to have a magnetic field? You're not sure? No. No? Well, let's see if I can draw this quick before Mrs. Justin gets in here. Here's the earth again. <laughs> Drawing it for like the third or fourth time. Alright, so here's the North Pole. It's a little oblong. Yeah, that's no, no artist. <laughs> and the earth is spinning this way. And this is the best explanation. They don't really know. They can't go look. But their best explanation, they're spinning around that way, right? Okay. So everything on the Earth is spinning that way. Yep. Except the poles. And in the center of the Earth, what's in the center? What's down here? You know, if we cut away a little section here, you can see the, uh, core? You can see the center of the Earth. Lava. Huh? Lava. 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 Hot rock. Molten. A molten piece of metal in the middle. That's what they say. And this is all, yeah, this is what they say is all hot, hot rock, right? Melted rock? Melted rock. Very hot melted rock. That's what they say it is. Based on measurements that they've done from the surface. They've never gone there. So they're, they're basing it off of what? They're basing it off of volcanoes. Where does that hot lava come from? And basing it on sound waves that they shot into the center of the earth. Oh, and they can see. And they can much. they can based on what the density of the material is going through, they can they can bounce it here, and then they can bounce it here, and then and when it changes every time, just like light, every time it changes the surface, some of it reflects back. So they get what they really get is so there's different strata, different densities. So they'll get a sound back here, sound back here, sound back here. So this one they use this density. Well, they know that the next one went through that same density too, and so they can use some mathematics based on knowing this density, they can find this density, and then subsequently they can find the next layer's density, so forth. So they, they calculated this density based on that, that assumption that it, they're stepping their way down. Any case, so they say that's hot lava, and well, the Earth is rotating, that means this lava is rotating, right? But it's so hot that it's, much of it is ionized. Ionized it means it's positive and negative. Yeah, it means part of the, it means some of the electrons have come off the metal, molten metal. And so now you have charged particles going in a circle. Well, we know for a fact that if you really do have charged particles going in a circle, you carry that's an that's a current, that's electric current. 
Well, the direction of the magnetic field from electric current, remember I said it goes in a circle around the wire? Pointing, right? Well, what happens if you put another wire right above it? No, you got a magnetic field going around that wire too, right? Yeah. The direction on the top of this wire and the direction on the bottom of so we got one going that way. The direction on the bottom, the magnetic field on the bottom, is the opposite direction. And if it's exact same current, they're equal and opposite. They cancel. So what you end up with is in the center is a magnetic field pointing up, and on the outside, a magnetic field pointing down. Not a magnetic, yeah, a magnetic field pointing up and a magnetic field pointing down. Well, isn't that what you have at the end of a magnet? Yeah. Yeah. Magnetic field pointing up, magnetic field pointing down. And it curves around like that. Well, now if I put that idea inside the Earth, we have a really big electric current in the center of the Earth. I got a really big magnet. And we got magnetic field lines going around the Earth. Well, that's what the magnetic field lines are there. So that's how they deduce that there is an electric current in the center of the Earth due to the rotation of the Earth. So when someone says that the Earth isn't rotating, this is one of the reasons they say, well, it must be rotating because we have a magnetic field. Yes. So that's a, an argument against the Earth not rotating. You can't. And maybe there's another explanation, but this is one. This is a pretty good explanation. You could do all of that if you had enough. You can replicate on the small scale exactly that using molten metal. You can make an electric current with molten metal flowing. Huh? You're good. <laughs> And so you can replicate it on a small scale. So this is, we can't prove it true, but this is a pretty good explanation and it's hard to find a better one. Bye, Gretchen.